ladies and gentlemen, we've got another review. Yes, we have. And this time, we've got a load of short fill flavours. It's a new range from Decadent Vapours. So, what? Well, let's go through what we've got. They come in these nice natty boxes. Look at these. Very much sort of uh, Monty Python-esque. Yeah, with their... Uh, with their uh, way they're doing it like you know come on focus your damn thing come on focus there we go there you go, see very much sort of like uh, Monty Python that sort of sort of animation -y type stuff very cool and we have got six flavors to go through yes so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, do all these in one video I was going to do them all separately uh, it's just a nightmare to do that uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put do them all on this and then I will put the individual names and timestamp them downstairs below in the description uh, These are available from decadentvapors.com down there and also uh, They are 17 pounds 95 for 60 mil uh, And you can have them in high VG or 50 50 and you can have them in 0 3 and 6 milligram respectively uh, obviously the link will be down below as well, but you've got the just there. Yes, I've got my sound sorted out. My microphone should be spot on, so we're all good. Let's have a quick look at these boxes at the flavour we've got, shall we? So we've got lemon puff, blue barb, chucky wocky something or other. Chucky Wocky Moo. It's a trifle. Oh, focus, you damn thing. Have it. You sort of have to sort of. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to sort of. There you go. It's a trifle. And. Troppy Bongo. Come on, you stupid thing. Have it. Do, 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 do. Have it. <laughs> have it. It'll do it now. You watch. This focus was working perfectly earlier. And you stupid thing. Oh, it's Troppy Bongo anyway. <laughs> so, what do you get in your box of tricks? You get... In the Oh, there's the other one as well, isn't it? Got uh, Strawberry Bonbon. One had legged it. There you go, Strawberry Bonbon. Um, so, you get your box. In your box, you've got... I'll just knock the microphone. you got your bottle of juice. I love these labels, they're so cool. So funky. Um, and in that, you will have 40ml of e-liquid. And you also get two bottles like that, depending on what you've chosen for your strength. If you zero, you'll get two of these that are VG, PG based, or probably just VG. Just VG. Uh, or you'll get a VG and a PG, yeah? And then if you choose a nicotine, you'll get a nicotine and a, and a, and a VG dilutant. Uh, if you choose six, you probably get two dilutants uh, or a higher strength uh, nicotine shot. So there you go. And all you do, bung in the bottle, give them a shake, and away you go. I've already done this. Already done this. These are made up in zero, by the way, boys and girls. These are made up in zero. So what should we start with? Oh, let's start with... Let's start with lemon puff since it's in front of me. There you go, lemon puff. There you go, lemon puff. So as usual, 25 watts as you can see there. If it will focus and behave itself, of course it bloody won't. Will it? There you go, 25 watts, 0.55 ohm coil, single coil on the magma RDA. I'm gonna have to retire this soon. I have to get something else. The grub screws are knackered. I'm not gonna be able to change the coil again. <laughs> but hey, let's go. Lemon puff. Ooh. It's a nice hint of a lemon running through there, like a lemon, slightly lemon curdy, but with a bit more twang to it, zestiness. That classic biscuit. If no one's had any, Google what a lemon puff is. It is a biscuit, and it's a light, flaky, buttery pit biscuit with uh, lemon, uh, like cream in the middle. 
Um, it's not a, it's not like a lemon curd in the middle. It's just got like a, a bit like you'd have a custard cream, but if you imagine a custard cream biscuit that's got a lemon filling instead, like that. And that's what this is. It's spot on. That lemon's lovely. It's a lovely sort of rich buttery aftertaste. That and you can even taste the flaky pastry in it. Spot on, nice vape, very nice vape. Oh, I should also mention they're available in high VG as well as 50-50. So you can have it for like a little ego tank, you know. So you've got a big bottle of uh, juice to keep you going. I think I might have to treat myself to a 50-50 one to go in some of my uh, mouth to lung tanks. Some of some of these, because they smell quite awesome. That, as you know guys, I'm not a big desserty person. But I could possibly vape that all day. Spot on, lemon puff, just like those biscuits. And like I say, Google it if you don't know what it is. What shall we have next? Let's have a look. Let me just move my uh, stuff about here. So I can get some info up for you guys in a minute. Just get that smaller. There we go. Lovely jubbly. I was going to start doing live reviews, but I think I'm just going to do it like this. But yeah, it's just like a sandwiched thing, like lemon puff. Bloody spot on that is as well, though. Flavour for uh, the flavour's stunning. It, it really is. I'm really impressed with that one. Might even be a little hint of cinnamon in the background there as well. Maybe wrong. Just vaping this dry so we can put the next one on. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to it because I moved my camera and everything. Let us know in the comments down below, guys, what the sound sounds like and what the video quality is like for you guys. I'm hoping it should be because I've just about got used to using the Mac. Big thanks to Pete from Pete's, uh, Pete's Place uh, Reviews. He's uh, I'll put the link down for him. Go and give him a sub. He's a top bloke. He sent me a box of tricks he didn't use anymore, um, and it works fine on here. So, Hence the Bosch mic back again. Right, that's dry now. No flavour whatsoever. So, let us have the next one. What shall we have next? I know, we'll have this one next. We will have... A bit of focus. Come on, focus. I think I need more light. I think that's the problem. It's a trifle anyway. It's a trifle. It'll focus now on a bloody thing we jig it. There we go. There you go. It's a trifle. There you are. It's a trifle. So the thing is, I've had to zoom my camera in because I've got all the stuff behind me and it's just like, no, but, ooh, smells nice, smells fruity. Obviously, as the name suggests, this is going to be a trifle flavour. Ooh, trifle. We like a bit of trifle. I, I don't know about you guys, but I love trifle. I do love trifle myself. It's a trifle. <laughs> so I'm going to smell. Get a bit of peach through there. Oh my god. There's a definitive peach with a little tartness. So I think there's a raspberry going through there. After the aftertaste, there's um, another fruit. I'm going to go with. Strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. You've got um another bit of sweetness. I don't know whether they're trying to do the sprinkles or something, but there's something, you know, the old multicolored sprinkles on the top. Um there's something like that running through it as well. And you've got this th uh rich uh whipped cream. You know, like a proper double cream, you whip the shit out of it. Um There is a slight hint of custard there. Me personally, I think it could do with a little bit more custard. Um, I think they're using their creme anglaise, which is their famous custard. It's a very light custard, so I think it needs just a little bit more of a vanilla custard just to lift it up a little bit. But, apart from that, it's very nice. Custard's there. It's just very subtle. You get more of the cream. Um, the custard's more of an aftertaste on the back of your tongue. You know, that creamy, uh, custardy flavour. 
So yeah, that was... It's a trifle. There we go. It worked that time. <laughs> so yeah, that is a very good... So far, very good. So vape that dry. Uh, Pardon me, burping away. Yeah, so that's that. Get that clean. Another draw, another another one that should pull out. What should we have next? Let us have. Let's have. Blue Bob. Oh, it's working again. Blue Bob. Time for Blue Bob. Let's get it on the dripper. Ooh, that's potent. Now this is rhubarb and quite obviously blueberry. Now the blueberry that's in this, the rhubarb is very good, but the blueberry is quite aromatic if that makes sense. Almost, um, what would you call it? Oh, it's not. Oh, what's the word? Not medicinal, not chemical. Floral. The blueberry is very floral in this. Yeah, it's a very artificial blueberry, that. I'm not a big fan of that one. It's very florally. Rhubarb's lovely, but... Um, and then there's like a hint of an ice cream, a slight creaminess in the background. Yeah. Um, the, the rhubarb's lovely. It's like really tart, nice tart strawberry. It's making my mouth water, but I'm not keen on the on the blueberry at all. For me personally... Um, and that ice cream's like um, very. The ice cream reminds me. You know the really cheap ice lollies you used to get with the ice cream in the middle. You know the really cheap vanilla ice cream they used to soft scoop. They used to put inside those like uh, raspberry split type things and that. That's what that is. That blueberry's almost soapy. It's very strange. So yeah, that was that one. Not a big fan of that one. The blueberry's a bit too floral for me. I'm not keen on, on floraliness. It's sort of like florally, soapy sort of smell slash taste. Um, but yeah, the ice creams, the ice creams like that cheap ice cream, soft scoop ice cream, vanilla ice cream. So yeah, that's that. So what should we have next? Let's have strawberry bonbon. Give it a shake. I've already put all the Nick shots and everything in these, by the way, guys. All the all the uh, dilutants. And they stuck that on my nose then. <laughs> the only thing that's annoying with this software is there's no pause button. And rather than jump cutting it, I just want to do it in one foul swoop. There might be the odd jump cut, but I do apologise. But I'm trying to do it off the cuff all the way along. So, strawberry bonbon. Hang on a minute, let me just get a drink. There's my can of drink. Other drinks are available at the foyer. Is very nice. Thank you very much. That's that, right? Strawberry bomber. This is, as the name suggests, I'm going to have to put some more on there because that's rather nice. Um, as the name says, it's a strawberry bomber. 
those round um, chewy toffee sweets with the powder on the top um, you get the blue bonbons as well I'm rather far, uh, rather partial to the blue raspberry ones straight up sweet strawberry in your face with that slight toffee sort of chewiness that you expect from a strawberry bonbon and I get an aftertaste of the powder like, like icing sugar mmm spot on got to hand it to them they're bloody good these guys they know what they're doing they know what they're doing so what should we have next we're banging through these aren't we ladies and gentlemen we're on the fifth one already the next one is Troppy Bongo there we go Troppy Bongo let's have a try of that Freshly wicked. I'm trying to do them in in one rung, like you know, because I th I think without because I don't like editing and jump cutting. It's a nightmare. So we'll have a go on this one. Oh, not for me this one. There's a fresh banana. There's a coconut. But it's got all this floral um, stuff going on. Like um, I don't even know what they are. I can't even. I can't even pick it. Like, like um, it's like flowers. It's floral as hell. You can't get any more floral than that. So there's a real fresh banana with a coconut running through that. There's a bit of orange going on in there as well. A little bit of orange in the back. It's sort of like in the back note, but those like floral notes are really. Uh... Really weird. I think that's their wild card vape. Not for me. Some people might like it. But for me, no. The banana's spot on. There is an orange in there. The coconut's spot on. But there's just this underlying, well, overpowering sort of uh, floralness. Um, is it floral? I'm going to have to cheat on this one, boys and girls. Let me have a look. Um... cheat on that one troppy bongo there we are uh, a heavenly hedonistic blend of fresh bananas coconut and tropical botanicals that's what it is it's the botanicals <sighs> that's a shame because that was quite nice the rest of the flavors are really nice but the botanicalness in there not for me I'm afraid so that was When it focuses, come on, you stupid! Thing. It don't like the vapor. It don't like the vapor, Mister Manner. It don't like it. Well. It don't like it up. Um, I think this, there we go. Troppy Bongo. There you go. Yeah, orange in that. I, just, I try not to look at the bottle too much, otherwise, you know, it cheats me. You know, pick it up and away you go. <clears throat> so next one and the last one is Chucky Wocky Moo. No, it won't focus now, will it? Will it? Will it? Shock it. Shock it into focus. Focus. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. <sighs> Come on, you stupid thing. Have it. Doesn't want to focus now. I think there's some VG on the lens. <laughs> I have to strip my camera down, I think, at some point. Come on, focus, you stupid thing. It doesn't want to focus on that. Will you focus on the box then? Will you focus on the box? go chocky wocky move there we are there we go last one but not least right 
Let's get on to this one, shall we? If I can get the damn thing open, the top's stuck on it. <laughs> oh, come on, you stupid thing. I hate when these uh, lids do this. They're a nightmare for doing this. Let me just uh, get some pliers on it or something. Should be coming loose now. There we are. Ooh, chocolate. It's chocolate, obviously. <laughs> Look at the colour on that. <laughs> the colour on that. <laughs> the bottles are clear, by the way. Look. <laughs> That's got some chocolate in there, boys and girls. I'll have to tell you that one. Let us get that on there and have a vape. Oh my God. No, I'm not one for chocolate vapes, but they have absolutely nailed this. This is a sweet, hot chocolate. Is we've got a hot chocolate machine at work and this just reminds me of that there is a little bit of like nesquik sort of um milkshakey chocolate to it as well there's also a rich dark chocolate in there as well <laughs> expect from a good quality um hot chocolate made from milk that is that is spot on There's an aftertaste though, which is a bit strange. Like a sweet um, aftertaste. It's nice, but it's sweet. It's marshmallow, isn't it? That's what it is. Hot chocolate with marshmallows. There's a slight hint of creaminess to it as well. Slight hint of creaminess. Mmm, very nice. It's a hot chocolate vape, boys and girls. Hot chocolate with marshmallows. Bloody gorgeous, that is. Yeah. So there was only one, well, two that I was meh on, but the rest were spot on. That trifle's gorgeous. Go and get yourself a bottle of that trifle. It's spot on. The jelly in that's lovely. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Uh, like I say, I'll timestamp it down below. Um... So you can all find what you are. Don't forget to hit the... Uh, uh, we've got a previous video link, which will be just about here in a minute. Somewhere here. And then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which will be about here. Subscribe there. Yeah, there's a little round thing of me. Click it, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Big thanks to the guys at Decadent Vapors for sending this on for review. And we'll see you on the next review. Take it easy now. Ta-ra!